Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 92 of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Advance. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, what I decided to do for this fight was rest most, but not all, of Skull Dragon's MP for you. Off footage so you don't have to see entire 10 to 15 minutes of rasping over and over and over and over again. Like we did in Dragon's Den. Thankfully, Terra's magic was so powerful, it took over a thousand MP per Rasp. Which was very nice. It made things a little faster. So there, one more Rasp and we should be done. I believe next is Holy Dragon. There, isn't that a lot better than watching the same spells being cast dozens and dozens of times? All you need to do is see it once, and then bam, it's done. Good times. Alright, now bring on the Holy Dragon. I see a little bit more of a fight. Calling for heavenly aid. Alright, Locke, you might want to use Hastiga. Terra, you want to want to use Fenrir for those straight physicals. Go go, you use Quick. And then we're gonna start using Force Field. And if we can nullify Holy, we're set. Because really, Holy and Saintly Beam are your greatest threat. I mean, yeah, Heartless Angel is pretty bad too. But I mean, Saintly Beam can wipe you all out, well, except for Gogo, because he can absorb Holy with the Paladin Shield. But still, it's nasty! Alright, where's Force Field? It's all the way over here. Come on, nullify Holy. Do what Strago did on the first try. Let's see if this works. Water. That's what I want. Alright, try it again. Keep trying until you get holy. Eventually you'll get it. <sighs> Lightning! Great, so now we're gonna eat a saintly beam as a result. So Celeste, you might want to use Kiraga. Actually, Kiraga and Kira. Yeah, sadly you're gonna see multiple saintly beams as a result. It's gonna be very damaging. Lock use reflect on Holy Dragon, so that whenever it counters, it'll Kiraga one of us. I keep casting quick to make sure I get two castings of force field per turn. It's easier that way. Just keep everyone else on standby. That's it. Now we got Water and Lightning nullified. I'm still looking for Holy, though. So I'll give it two more tries here on this turn. Come on, Holy, 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 Holy! There we go! Third casting. Okay, one more lore. This time it's gonna be Mighty Guard. Now it's fair game to kick some ass. Good to know we get our defenses up. You know, in case the physical does hit us. Heartless Angel comes. Actually, this would be a good time to take off the Thunder Shields and bring in Tortoise Shields. The Blue Dragon is next. And I want to make sure I'm ready in case we do get hit by Heartless Angel and then finished off. That's the worst thing that can happen. 
because chances are the uh, blue dragon will respond with water attacks right away. I want to make sure we can absorb them. There we go. I still need to change Celeste's equipment, though. I'll have to do that next turn. Thank you! Alright, let's change the shield. Ah, there we go. That's better. Right, now I can just use, say, Osmos and then Ultima. No, Osmos and Quick. That's what I'm gonna do. Now I can try to finish this guy off. We got Holy Nullified. We got better shields on for the next battle. And we should be good to go. Now, let's do some damage. lot of damage. Well, over 19,000 worth. Still alive. Alive. Okay, I say one or two more Ultimas will definitely do him in. It better, at least. Then I'll be ready for Blue Dragon. Come on, one more casting. If that's not enough, I'll just have Gogo -Go Mimic. All right, we're almost done. Nearing the final stretch. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Now that we got Tortoise Shield, Blue Dragon shouldn't be a problem. Of course, there's still Blue Fang. Flash Rain, not so much. our defenses. Could use some more MP, as usual. Osmos and Thundaga. Actually, it wouldn't be bad for Gogo -Go to do the same thing. He could use more magic as well. Now let's hit this guy hard. No sense to get too aggressive, especially if this guy is easy. No reason to put up your buffs due to the fact that, well, it can use Rippler. Take away your buffs. If it connects. There we go, now we can put on a good bit of damage. Time to be electrified, Blue Dragon. I 
it's just a shame. I mean, this boss had potential. Didn't have much in the uh, Ancients Castle, and not so much here. Then again, not everybody goes for Tortoise Shields. That might be the only reason this guy could be a challenge. Or any imp equipment, for that matter. Oop, just gonna need a little bit more offense. Actually, I think this would be a good time to, like, change shields. If I get a chance. Oh, can I switch shields now? I don't need tortoise shield anymore for the next fight. There, I put my thunder shield on. Next is the red dragon. And the thunder shield might help for the flame attacks. Actually, it will help. Oh yeah, this is where Celeste can be very useful. Not you. Rock be good. You have to select them from the top first. Otherwise, you're just going to be selecting Thunder Shield as an item to use an unbreakable Thundaga, which will destroy the Thunder Shield. Okay, this is very high priority to use re rays on everyone. Actually, Terra, use this turn for Fenrir. Go use re rays right now. So let's do that on everyone. Okay, we should be good. Unfortunately, I think Gogo is gonna die. This flare is very powerful. Yep, he's dead. Ah, bring him back. He was about to re-raise himself, too. Here, as long as we get re-raise up, we should be alright. That way, we can avoid dying from Ultima. Celeste helps, too, because she has Runic. Unfortunately, you have to time it just right to make sure you have her use it by the time Ultima connects. Otherwise, you pretty much defeated the purpose. Ow. Yeah, Gogo's gonna get smacked around a lot. Yeah, heavy. Lock, you might as well use Kiraga right now. I'm gonna cast haste on Celeste. She's important. Uh, Blaze is not too bad. I don't think he can runic that attack. Air stir, that might hurt. Okay, now I'm gonna have Celeste on Runic at all times. Ugh, meltdown. And Flare! Jeez, why don't you just murder us to oblivion then? Don't worry, she'll come back. No, she didn't even die! Okay, I'm gonna wait for the next spell. Are you gonna hit Gogo -Go all the time? Now he gets another turn? Jeez. 
Jeez, give it up! Please, come on! You're making this more difficult than it needs to be. Okay, get another runic ready. That way we can avoid Ultima. We still have to deal with Flare, though. But it's better than nothing. There, he used it. Celeste is going to absorb it completely. That way, we only have to worry about Flare, and chances are one person will die, and if it hits Gogo, -Go, he might dodge it completely. Oh, he did dodge it completely! So nobody dies here! And only Terra's at critical. That means we should be ready for Kaiser Dragon. Alright, let's do this. Though that will have to be in the next part, because this video has gone on pretty long. Let me get another apocalypse. Yep, we're taking on Kaiser Dragon again! Next part, we finish him once and for all. Goodbye, everybody.